right, what's going on, guys? So, welcome to something a little bit different. I mean, I want to do this for quite a while. I'm doing a q and A. I've never done a q and A on YouTube. I've done one on Instagram and Snapchat multiple times, which all these questions are from Snapchat and Instagram. If you don't follow me either, you can follow. You can find the information in the description down below. But I mentioned this is a little bit different because some of them correspond with each other. So I'm gonna do it in a do a bit of a different way. And there'll be cuts in between these, of course. But uh, I'm gonna start off with the more simple ones. Where did you go to high school, and what do you miss about it? Well, I went to a school called Southern High School. It's um in my hometown, in of a uh, of Louisville. And I, what I miss about it the most is mostly seeing my friends every single day. Especially in, when we went to, I was a machine tool. Uh, we go to the shop almost every single day, and we. Uh, do what we need to do, do our work, and just hang out and have fun there. That's what I miss most about it. Big is your PP, no homo. I'm not going to tell you. It's probably two inches. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> that was from one of my coworkers. And then one of them is, why are you a dumb bitch? Well, I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, you're going to have to talk to my lawyer about it. I don't know the question. Is, are you gay? No. No, I'm not gay. But thank you for asking. My favorite season season is spring. I love, actually it's probably spring or fall, one of the two, because I like the I like the warm wet, I like the cooler weather, not the super hot weather, where I'm constantly having to either wear tank tops and shorts, which I I don't mind wearing them. I'm, I'm, I wear tank tops now, more now, but I don't really like wearing shorts in public. It's just I don't really like. I don't like wearing pants. It makes me feel more comfortable. Your TV show. I have a few answers for that one, but probably either Supernatural or, um, actually there's a lot of TV shows I watch. I guess anything from the Arrowverse that's not super, that's not, a uh, Batgirl, go Batwoman, just anything but Batwoman, because I don't like Batwoman as a show or a character. I just don't think Batwoman's all that interesting to me, at least not from the comics. If she's not in comics, I don't really care for Batwoman. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is, I don't have really have a favorite favorite movie, but my top three is probably either, is a uh, Split, Spider-Man 2, and, um, what is it? Oh, Dunkirk. I love Dunkirk. It was such a good movie to me. You can't live without it. I can't live without this thing I'm recording on, which is my phone. I can't live without my phone or my glasses. I need these, mostly. It was from Zach. I'm pretty sure you all know Zach. He, I, I play a lot of games with him. He, we made mostly a bunch of Rainbow Six videos, and uh, we've played a few um, Fortnite games together and stuff like that on the channel. I don't, I've done a lot of videos with him. But he asked me, how do you feel about Ram Ranch? It's a good meme. It's a good meme song. I will give it that. That's all I really care about. What is your first tattoo and what does it mean? My first tattoo is this. It's a Daniel in Hebrew, and it's a it's a memor it's a memorial to my brother who passed at birth before me, because I, I was born in two thousand one. He was born in two thousand. So, my name is his middle name. So I decided to get his name tattooed on my arm in Hebrew, since Daniel originates from the Hebrew language. But every time and every time someone sees me with the tattoo, they think I'm Jewish. I'm not Jewish. I tattoos. What is your future tattoos? Well, I said what I was going to get a future tattoo in my Fortnite video. If you want to watch that, it'll be up um, after this. Most likely. It'll be up after this. But I talked about it in my Fortnite video, but I'll say it here as well. I said I wanted an Oni tattoo. If you don't know what an Oni is, uh, I'm going to try to put one on screen if I can. Like a fan art of one. But an Oni, like it's like a Japanese demon. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. But I don't know why, just Onis have always appealed to me. I just love the design of them. I love the culture of Japan. It's just a really nice culture. And um, I plan on getting a cybernetic tattoo eventually. Probably like the one from a, a Star Wars Episode Five. Yeah, from a, a from Empire. When uh, Luke is getting his arm fixed right right here, you can see like the inside of his arm. I'm probably gonna get something like that. If not, I'll probably figure something out. 
And um, what else kind of tattoos do I want? Oh, I want to get a couple gaming tattoos since well, gaming is basically what I do on this on this website. Like I have my I'm literally looking at these questions on my p on my computer. Like that's literally how I'm doing this. My Xbox is over there chilling. My PS4 is over there chilling. I will make a video on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X right after I make this. Actually, I want to watch all the trailers that I missed and talk about them. So that one will come up a little bit later than this, maybe about a couple days or so. And another, like, I don't know what other kind of tattoos I want. I want to get at least a Halo tattoo, a, um, something that memorates Call of Duty as well, because Call of Duty has always had a special place in my heart. Um, a Devil May Cry tattoo for sure. Like, I, I love Devil May Cry. If you don't know, know much about me, I love Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry is one of my favorite, like, actions, action games and story games. Like, 5 is probably, the, is personally, my favorite one of all of them. 3 and then 4, definitely. Like, I love 3's story. I, I never played it before I, well, before I did play it. I played it about a, about a year or so ago. I didn't beat it, but I played it. But then I beat the game not too long ago. And then I accidentally overriding a save with Virgil, so now I lost all my progress with Dante, so I have to do it again, so I can get all my stuff back, at least a good amount of it, and I'm doing more, like getting more orbs and stuff, because I know the majority of the map now, and stuff like that, but I don't really know if any other tattoos I'm wanting to get, I'm definitely going to get a good tat, a couple um, gaming tattoos on my, uh, probably my left arm, or my right arm, probably both. Now I want to talk about these two. These two, uh, two. This one is where do you work and talk about it. I work at this place called Walmart. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's a pretty small store. But no, seriously, I work at Walmart. I um, I work as a sporting goods associate. I work. I sell fishing licenses, guns, and um, well, I can't sell guns because I have to do some kind of training thing. But I have the ability to sell them eventually. I saw ammunition and a bunch of other stuff for sporting goods like hunting and fishing. And and since I'm a Salesforce associate, I work all around the GM side. I do paint counter, I do fabric table, I do HBA, lawn and guard. I do the entire basically the entire GM side whenever they need me to. And I go up front when needed to a cash register to a register to help check people out. I do that in the in my department anyway. Hopefully well probably I'm probably gonna be a farm manager soon. I don't know if I'm going to, but I have the ability to if I want to. Now, there's one last question, and I saved this one for the last most of these. What do you use to edit? I use a few things to edit my videos. I use um, I used a video shop at one point, uh, but I stopped using it because well, I found something better. Now I use um, Video Maker, I think it's what it is. I have the pro version with like 10 bucks for the pro. It's a it's an all out. There's no monthly subscription or annual subscription. It's just 10 bucks out. You get everything with it. So I was like, yes, I will do that. And I you I did use a Funimate for uh, one specific video I did on my Instagram. And um, I haven't. I'm not. I'm not using Funimation or Funimate anymore. I use uh, that, and sometimes Adobe Rush. Because I use that for mostly like these kind of videos. I'm not going to use it for this one most likely. It just depends if uh, Adobe Rush actually works. And if you use Adobe Rush and you don't want to pay for the um, more times to extrude videos and actually save them to your phone, just uninstall the app and reinstall it. It's that simple. You get all three back and you can do it all over again. But uh, yeah, I think that about covers all of the questions on here. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, that just about covers all of them. But uh, if you guys want to leave me more questions, leave them in the comments down below. Or if you're on, well, on your, it's been on Instagram too. So just leave your comments down below in the comments. And I will, I want to do this again because this is actually a lot of fun. I will do this again. I want to do this again. Like, I really enjoy just like explaining mostly about my life. Well, given uh, like details about it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Don't like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.